Chapter 11 And the people were as murmurers, speaking evil in the ears of Jehovah. And when Jehovah heard it, his anger was kindled, and the fire of Jehovah burnt among them, and devoured in the uttermost part of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses, and Moses prayed unto Jehovah, and the fire abated. And the name of that place was called Taberah, because the fire of Jehovah burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them lusted exceedingly. And the children of Israel also wept again, and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt, for naught, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away, there is nothing at all save this manna to look upon. And the manna was like coriander seed, and the appearance thereof as the appearance of dedalium. The people went about, and gathered it, and ground it in mills, or beat it in mortars, and boiled it in pots, and made cakes of it, and the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. And Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, every man at the door of his tent, and the anger of Jehovah was kindled greatly. And Moses was displeased. And Moses said unto Jehovah, Wherefore hast thou dealt ill with thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou layest the burden of all this people upon me? Have I conceived all this people? Have I brought them forth, that thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom, as a nursing father carrieth the sucking child, unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers? Whence should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand, if I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. And Jehovah said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, and officers over them, and bring them unto the tent of meeting, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take of the spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee that thou bear it not thyself alone. And say thou unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against to-morrow, and ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of Jehovah, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt. Therefore Jehovah will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. Ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but a whole month, until it come out at your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because that ye have rejected Jehovah who is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Egypt? And Moses said, the people among whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and thou hast said, I will give them flesh, that they may eat a whole month. Shall flocks and herds be slain for them to suffice them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to suffice them? And Jehovah said unto Moses, Is Jehovah's hand waxed short? Now shalt thou see whether my word shall come to pass unto thee or not. And Moses went out and told the people the words of Jehovah. 
and he gathered seventy men of the elders of the people, and set them round about the tent. And Jehovah came down in the cloud, and spake unto him, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and put it upon the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did so no more. But there remained two men in the camp, the name of the one was Eldad, and the name of the other Medad. And the Spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but had not gone out unto the tent, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man, and told Moses, and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the minister of Moses, one of his chosen men, answered and said, My lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Art thou jealous for my sake? Would that all Jehovah's people were prophets, that Jehovah would put his spirit upon them. And Moses gat him into the camp, he and the elders of Israel. And there went forth a wind from Jehovah, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, about a day's journey on this side, and a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp, and about two cubits above the face of the earth. And the people rose up all that day, and all the night, and all the next day, and gathered the quails. He that gathered least gathered ten homers, and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. While the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the anger of Jehovah was kindled against the people, and Jehovah smote the people with a very great plague. And the name of that place was called Kibrith Hateava, because there they buried the people that lusted. From Kibrith Hateava the people journeyed unto Hazaroth, and they abode at Hazaroth. End of chapter 11 Chapter 12 And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses, because of the Cushite woman whom he had married, for he had married a Cushite woman. And they said, Hath Jehovah indeed spoken only with Moses? Hath he not spoken also with us? And Jehovah heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men that were upon the face of the earth. And Jehovah spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out, ye three, unto the tent of meeting. And they three came out. And Jehovah came down in a pillar of cloud, and stood at the door of the tent, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Jehovah, will make myself known unto him in a vision. I will speak with him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. He is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even manifestly, and not in dark speeches. And the form of Jehovah shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant, against Moses? And the anger of Jehovah was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud removed from over the tent, and behold, Miriam was leprous, as white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, O my Lord, lay not, I pray thee, sin upon us, for that we have done foolishly, and for that we have sinned. Let her not, I pray, be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto Jehovah, saying, Heal her, O God, I beseech thee. 
And Jehovah said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut up without the camp seven days, and after that she shall be brought in again. And Miriam was shut up without the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not until Miriam was brought in again. And afterward the people journeyed from Hazaroth, and encamped in the wilderness of Paran. End of chapter 12 Chapter 13 And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may spy out the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a prince among them. And Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the commandment of Jehovah, all of them men who were heads of the children of Israel, and these were their names. Of the tribe of Reuben, Shemua the son of Zachar, of the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat the son of Horai, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of the tribe of Issachar, Igal, the son of Joseph, of the tribe of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Paltai, the son of Rephu, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gedael, the son of Sodai, of the tribe of Joseph, namely, of the tribe of Manasseh, Gadai, the son of Suzai, of the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Asher, Sether, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nabai, the son of Vophsai, of the tribe of Gad, Geul, the son of Mekai. These are the names of the men that Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hoshea, the son of Nun, Joshua. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, Get you up this way by the south, and go up into the hill country, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwell therein, whether they are strong or weak, whether they are few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it is good or bad, and what cities they are that they dwell in, whether in camps or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it is fat or lean, whether there is wood therein or not. And be ye of good courage, and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob, to the entrance of Hamath. And they went up by the south, and came unto Hebron, and Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai, the children of Anak, were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. And they came unto the valley of Eshkol, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bear it upon a staff between two. They brought also of the pomegranates, and of the figs. That place was called the Valley of Eshkol, because of the cluster which the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from spying out the land at the end of forty days. And they went and came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them, and unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told them, and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Howbeit the people that dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very great, 
and moreover we saw the children of Anak there. Amalek dwelleth in the land of the south, and the Hittite, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite dwell in the hill country, and the Canaanite dwelleth by the sea, and along by the side of the Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses, and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had spied out unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who come of the Nephilim. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. End of chapter 13